two new commanders just became available in daily chest. One is CJ and the other one is good old Pakal. Today we are going to discuss if they are worth spending your money because daily chests are actually one of the better options for you to spend your money when it comes to getting commander sculptures. Obviously not as good as writer of the history but still you can get many sculptures just like I did for five bucks. 11 sculptures for Jadwiga. Honestly, I don't even know why I selected her, but somehow we got 11 sculptures for 5 bucks, which is actually even a better value than writer of the history. Let's discuss CJ and Pakal. Let's go. I know at the start of the video I said they just became available, but on my screen it says still 2 days left. The reason is I'm recording the video today, but it's going to go live in a few days, so I assume that they will be available once I publish this video because, as you guys know, we upgraded our production quality for better weaver experience, so editing takes a little bit longer than usual. We are gonna start with CJ because he's a pretty straightforward commander. He doesn't have any flashy skills, but what he offers is consistency. He's really good at what he does, and that is being fast and dealing lots of damage. He deals 1.7k single target damage and if the target has less than 30% of units, you deal another 300. So in total, it is 2k damage. So what makes CJ really good is that he's a really good finisher. When you find those troops in the battlefield who are at red HP level, CJ is just going to deal really nice amount of damage. His second skill is giving you a lot of attack, 40% attack and some extra bonuses versus cavalry and archers. Now this one is quite important. If this commander's troop is on the map, meaning they are on the field or rally, it doesn't work in garrison, whenever it takes skill damage, it has a 40% chance to reduce the damage by 50%. If you max the skill, it is 50%. And the cooldown is just 4 seconds. It's actually quite important that the cooldown is very low because in the field fighting, you will just take a lot of damage, not just from the person who is targeting you, but also people, enemies around you who are dealing AOE damage. So that's why I've cooled down 4 seconds. I mean, that would be even better if it was like 2 to 3 seconds, but 4 seconds is still pretty decent. If this commander's troop contain only infantry units, which it should, it gains 15% march speed. Whenever you launch a basic attack, now it has a 50% chance and it goes up to 100%, so it's guaranteed to gain 5% bonus to skill damage, for 8 seconds and you can stack this effect up to 8 times and its duration resets whenever you gain another stack and the cooldown is again only 4 seconds. So with this skill you are actually increasing the skill damage that you deal massively and what you can understand from this skill is that you should always pair your CJ with a commander that deals high skill damage. For example, in my opinion you shouldn't pair your CJ with, let's say, a Pakal. You don't want to do that. You want to pair him with a high skill damage commander. And when it comes to infantry, there are plenty high skill damage commanders, such as Guan Yu and Guan Yu and also Guan Yu. Once you unlock his expertise, and it's a pretty rare one because usually what happens with the expertise is you either get a new skill or most of the time you boost your active skill. But this time we are boosting our third skill, which is Stalwart. Once you unlock his expertise, you still have 40% chance to reduce skill damage by 50%. However, it adds a new thing. Deal direct damage up to 3 enemy troops in a fan-shaped area. Damage factor number of stack of the sacrifice skill effect times 50, which is this one. The skill that makes you increase your skill damage by normal attacks, which is great. And also your cooldown. Remember I said this would be much better if it was even 2 to 3 seconds and boom there it is. Your cooldown goes down to 3 seconds. Now CJ is really decent however he doesn't offer anything extremely good. He deals really good amount of damage. He has some sort of tankiness with skill damage taken reduction but he doesn't have any defense HP like no defensive stat stick. So who should invest on CJ? Who is he worth for? I think it's just for heavy infantry mains. If you are running three, maybe even four infantry march, and then yes, you definitely want CJ. I keep saying CJ because I cannot pronounce his name. I'm just going to say Chuk Jung Gyeong. <laughs> I probably butchered it, but yeah, unless you are a heavy infantry main, 
you shouldn't touch CJ. The other one is King Jib Pakal. Now this guy is a weird one because this could either be the worst commander for you or the best one. If you want to be as annoying as possible, get yourself a Pakal. He deals very little amount of skill damage, but he deals insane amount of counter-attack damage and also he's extremely tanky. So he's so annoying to hit on the battlefield. You swarm him with five marches and when you look at the reports, <laughs> what you see is with those five marches, you just kept getting negative traits and he got positive traits against all of your marches with like a simple, like basic Pakal Herald march, which is extremely annoying and frustrating. But the main downside of Pakal is that he's just not meta. What I mean by that is when you're fighting on the field, what your kingdom expects from you, if you're a field fighter, they want you to deal really high amount of skill damage in a very short period of time. And that's why commanders like Nevsky, Burika, YSG, Zuge, Liang, they are extremely popular and strong because they deal very good amount of skill damage just in a few seconds. And by doing that, you are eliminating your enemies a lot quicker. But Pakal obviously doesn't provide any of that. He deals his damage very, very slowly. But the damage he deals <laughs> from the counter-attack damage, normal attack damage, it's insane. The severely wounded units that you are going to deal is going to be massive. And in return, your hospital bills are going to be quite cheap because this guy is literally screaming for other players to hit him. He just gets better when more marches keep hitting him and this way, you're just going to farm a lot of kills. And as I said, you are going to be extremely annoying. But this guy, he could be the best. He could be the worst. It all depends what you are expecting from your field commanders. So if you're up to getting a lot of kills with very small amount of hospital bills, be annoying, but also be annoying for your kingdom as well, because you're literally dealing no skill damage. So it's taking so much time. It's like a super selfish march. Go ahead and invest on Pakal. But if you're a team player, you want to just invest on meta commanders that deal ton of skill damage. They have some sort of a tankiness. They just don't die really, really fast and also deal a lot of damage. Then yeah, don't even think about touching Pakal. I know when you think about it, you just pop up from your city. A lot of marches hits you and boom, you get a lot of kills and your hospital bill is pretty much nothing. It's an amazing feeling. I mean, probably it is because I don't I don't even unlock Pakal yet. But as I said, it's an annoying commander for the enemy, but also for your kingdom. So be aware of that. He pairs so well with a free commander, Charles Mattel. As you can see, I have him expertise and I haven't invested a single legendary commander sculpture on him. It was just from the gold keys. Thankfully, I was very lucky with Charles Mattel. So if I just go ahead and expertise my Pakal, I can simply pair him with Charles Mattel and he's good to go. Like, I think that's a massive benefit because for a very strong high counter-attack damage, super tanky infantry march, you're essentially spending only 690 sculptures because the other one, the secondary or the primary, probably you want to use Charles Mattel as primary because you want to hide Pakal behind him. When people see Charles Mattel, they're just going to think like, oh, look at that noob. Let's just hit that Charles Mattel and boom, there's Pakal behind him and they will be they, like, they will get so mad. So yeah, this one, the other one, your primary is going to be free. So you have a really great march for 690 sculptures. I think that could be a very nice selling point for many players. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And here, the commander who got nerfed even before the release. We took a look at Herman, Prime Herman. Make sure to tap on it and I see you there.